Uh, so the the other thing um, that that I did, um, so I'm I'm on the board of directors of our community pool. Um, mm-hmm. That's a thing in Northern Virginia. They're, they're, they're everywhere. They're private clubs, um, you know, but they're they're open to whoever wants to join in the community. Um, cool. And what we've caught is a lot of young lifeguards who have to make, I'll say, you know, somewhat significant decisions on, you know, hey, was that thunder or lightning, and should I close the pool or Ooh, is interesting. the yeah, and, and you know, it's up to these you know, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen year old kids, and yeah they do a great job. I'm not, I'm not trying to, um, you know, to, to drag them or anything. The The problem that we run into is that we're close enough to Dulles international airport that yeah. on the wrong day with the wrong wind, you can actually hear the planes taking off. Like if they're taking off to the North, we're South of the airport. So you get this nice big long rumble as they're moving down the runway. Mm. And I can't tell you how many times that we've, closed for 45 minutes because they thought they heard thunder and it's a perfectly sunny day and there's not a not a single storm to be found for thousands of miles um so what i did was i took an old raspberry pi that i had sitting around my desk which i obviously still have um (laughs) and i i put it in there and it's running just some basics um you know like the weather what's you know give me a radar picture um there's a lightning detector uh it's what is it blitz Blitzortung or something like that. It's obviously, I think it's German. Yeah. Um, and so it gives the the amount of lightning strikes and the distance from your location. Um, so that one's great because, you know, we can say, hey, look, if there's been a lightning strike within 25 miles, shut down the pool. And they can just walk yeah. over to the thing and it's right there. We put it on, a, we bought a, a pretty cheap um, Android tablet and it's right there in the guard shack right next to the lifeguards. They just go, yep, absolutely. There's definitely one inside of 25 miles. We're shutting down the pool today. Um, and then uh, we, I, I added the air quality after the um, Canadian wildfires last year. We had actually had to shut down the pool for a couple of days because we hit yeah. um, really bad levels and we didn't want the lifeguards sitting out there for hours and hours on end. So um, I added that as kind of a way for the lifeguards to be able to prompt the board to say, hey, look, the, the air quality has gotten really bad. Um, you know, what, what do you want us to do? Should we close or not? Um, and then the, the, the fun sort of fun side project of all of that is, is working on music assistant to try and tie all of our sort of entertainment for the pool together and then provide just kind of one big single location where they can go and control all of that. So I was going to say, can, can you, can you throw logic in there to say, Hey, you know what? Like we've, we've detected this and just send out an alert to say, Hey, lifeguards pools close rather than them having to watch like go back to that screen and have a look or, or same thing kind of with the wildfires hey you know what air quality has been really poor for the last three hours and we don't want you as an employee breathing this in anymore because it's obviously people come and go they might be there for half an hour or something right. like that but the lifeguards there for who i don't know what their shifts are like but i assume like five hours say eight hours whatever yeah. yeah it's like five six hours i think yeah. Um, so, so that's, that's the next step. Um, and some of that, mm-hmm. some, I mean, we operate on a pretty tight budget, but that's one of the things that I want to do sure. is to be able to do voice notifications inside the guard check, yep. um, yeah. for the lifeguard that's there. And then, uh, we bought some radios last year. And so that's, that's a, that's the stretch goal is to be able to not only give a singular voice notification inside the guard check, but find some way to tie that in to be able to alert the lifeguards on the deck. Um, that that there's also a potential thing. Now, the lifeguard in the guard shack can easily reach them on the radio too. But um, you know, I have to take it to the next level when I get the opportunity. So, but wouldn't it be cooler if Home Assistant got on the CD radio? And- <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Shut the pull down right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's so you're absolutely right. That's that's part of the plan, right? And then there's no decision making. It's hey, you know, it's been detected. Yeah the the rule set says shut down the pool shut down the pool and you know they don't have to worry about checking it or anything like that it just it yeah. lets them know i'm sure the membership will hate me because you know we like to play the ignore the thunder for an extra five minutes so the kids will play <laughs> um but yeah. you know at the same time there's there's always an element of safety required in that environment so you know the i have no idea take that, care of everybody. Um, that you had to close down pools for lightning like is that is that a big thing in yeah, it's a, it's, it's a, 
it's a significant um you know local government rule uh, yep. the way you operate all the pools if I, I think it's within 25 miles um because once once you're within 25 miles that um that lightning can hit could hit you at any time and since you've got all of that water there it's a they hype it and you know you got lots of tall lights and all of that stuff so yeah you're you're kind of a, a large target at that point so yeah um we want we want to make sure that we're taking care of everybody as as well as we can as fast as we can while at the same time you know backing up the lifeguards and and you know yeah. not not putting too much on a bunch of 17 and 18 year olds yeah absolutely yeah makes Which sense right? large open area plus yep water <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> 